Hi, this is Semler PDX from Veterans Gaming, and I wanted to show you guys a short preview of some of the functions of the upcoming beta for AVCS BMS voice control. First time it loads, it's going to uh, load the core profile. This is the new framework and the app developed for voice attack that will handle initialization, updates, bug reporting, and uh, semi-automated debugging. Since it's a separate profile, it has a system to allow us to set a preferred profile to load any time AVCS loads to streamline initialization. So you can set AVCS core to load and it'll immediately load the end game profile. Be releasing profiles for Arma and BMS um, as well. I'll do one for Elite Dangerous and a couple others. So this lets us uh, refine where we're going. Systems ready. Okay. Turn on audio feedback mode. Are you sure? Yes. Please choose a stereo channel for audio feedback output. Like audio right. feedback mode is enabled. A sound will play when a command is correctly recognized. It shows an example of the AVCS core app. Uh, this was a sort save file function. It keeps it sorted alphabetically and alphanumerically. Open the save file. Are you certain? Yes. Set. So, uh, so there's an example. There's not much there yet, but these are the two settings that we just added in there. Also keeps track of the backups as they get created. We haven't created one because we just started here. We'll show uh, another option here. Uh, before we had a edit configs in a terrible way, um, but now it's all pretty much on voice control. Edit key fault. <laughs> edit default key press timings. Edit key. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Edit key press default timings. Edit key press default timings. Sorry, I got tongue twisted there. So the defaults for, um, and it pops up a little menu here. You can set it low or high. Uh, you don't want to set it too low. Most computers um, can't really handle that. And this is the time between keys um, that are pressed by this profile. We'll change it to five. And then we've also got um, the time that a key is held down. Uh, so this is how we can set that globally as well. Set. And set that for that as well. Open the save file. Are you sure? Yes. Done. And now we can... Uh, oh, yeah, those <laughs> those uh, timings are saved into a different file. So um, uh, that was a bad example. Okay. Um, another option we can do is uh, edit the core profile that loaded this one as well. And, for instance, the voice uh, authorization system that handles all those yes-nos... Um, it also uh, covers the ability to have a passphrase if you want. I've got a demonstration here. Clear the core errors log. Clear the errors log. Are you certain? Yes. Authorization is required. Riker Omega 3. Confirmed. Debug log file cleared. Well, it's just a demonstration. I'm not going to be locking that um, errors log clearing behind that, but. Um, uh, just a demonstration could be used for performance, uh, maybe live streaming, or just uh, having fun. Um, but it's uh, completely optional and uh, easy to configure. I'll get into it in other videos later. Uh, just wanted to show one last thing is editing that. Um, for instance, how it recognizes yes or no. Um, so we'll add a new word to that. Open core options. Are you sure? Yes. So this is the core options menu. You can access this anytime when you're switching to an AVCS profile. If you hold down control shift before it initializes, it'll bring up this menu. You'll be able to cancel initialization or even disable initialization. Uh, this was that profile me switching menu that we had uh, accessed the first time. And of course you can reset it. And what we're gonna do is go into the options, uh, advanced options menu here. Just zoom past this, a few options here. I will be able to turn off minor update uh, prompts so that uh, pop-ups like this don't happen during initialization. You can just deal with them later if you wish. Uh, you can roll back a version to the last one in case uh, an update comes out. Perhaps it's got an issue with it and I, I need to release a, another fix or a hot fix. You'll be able to roll back to the last stable version and continue use, using the profile. And what we're going to do here is edit one of the configs for that voice authorization system be able to restore these edits and delete them. 
and they're not permanent, uh, they'll get overwritten by an update, but it gives the user some uh, chance to, to work with um, the config files that are loaded. Let me choose the current alpha build we're using here. So when it asks um, a yes or no, it is essentially uh, comparing the phrase said, which is these, with uh, whether it was one of the affirmatives. And here's all the uh, negatives. So we're going to add a new one called Roger. That'll be recognized, and here is where it is actually spoken by us. And we'll save that and close it. And this is all the text-to-speech that's also used by the voice authorization system module. All right, so now it's uh, reloading the profile to apply these changes we've made. All systems now ready. All right. Uh, add a new call sign. Are you certain? Roger. Okay, so now we've got a new affirmative, and uh, we'll show a demonstration of the new menu for adding call signs. So these are all the existing call signs. We could uh, edit one here and, and uh, change it to something else, or we could delete it. We could go back to the call sign list and add a new call sign. We're going to call it Brother. This is one I use for testing because it's not phonetically similar to any of the others and it's not in the list and we'll save our changes and exit. Uh, we can see it on the list here uh, real quick. I wanted to note that uh, any of our user edits are gonna appear at the top of the list and aren't gonna get mixed in alphabetically so we can kind of keep track of things that aren't are non-default. Okay, save changes and exit. Done. And now it's gonna reset the profile in order to record the changes for a new uh, voice phrase. Systems now initialized. Let's pull up a notepad. Brother73, say fuel. And there we go. We've got our new uh, command in there. So uh, this should make it a lot easier for users to edit things without ever opening the editor. Uh, there'll be a lot more additions. Things are going to be subject to change. And I'm going to see if I can get this um, into a public beta before long. Uh, things have been holding me up, so I figured I would release a sort of demonstration video on what I've been working on these last six months. And... Um, wanted to you know just uh, give give you guys an idea of, of what's coming uh, what I have planned um, this is again just gonna be one of many profiles that I'll release that is going to be powered by the core framework here um, this really adds a lot of functionality and debugging to all the commands um, that we use and uh, it makes it possible to send out a live update to the users without all them having systems to download are a new go. <laughs> pardon me without having to download a new version um, I'll, I'll do a quick demonstration of an update. I uh, just need to uh, pull it over here. And while, before I do that, I'll, I'll show uh, what I've got upcoming for uh, modules that will be taking advantage of these systems. And what I'm doing is basically simply changing the, uh, the number for the update to the one that we don't have on file. When ABCS checks for updates, it's only checking for eight bytes. This is a eight digit number that will let it know if it's different than the one we have on file that in, there's a, an update option to present to the user and only if when we select yes will it download a new version of those config files. Okay so let's go ahead and restart and it should come up with an update prompt. switching to Falcon DNS and it has found an update. So this is the uh, menu that will be presented um, if we got a patch. Um, most things will be able to be uh, updated in this manner. Sometimes it will require a new profile version to download um, and import some commands or possibly even a full um, new profile package. And when that happens, uh, the old versions will still run. They'll be using separate file systems. Open the save folder. Open the save file folder. Oh, they're not working right now. <laughs> I can see it right there. Another command is blocking it. So I'll show you in a minute, but um, uh, let's uh, view the change log, for example. Uh, this is this is just a demonstration here. Uh, and of course, you can click yes or no. We'll apply that non-update.
all systems are ready. Open the save file folder. Are you sure? Roger. Set. So, um, now we've got some save file backups in there. And of course, um, there's where the data is. So this is the alpha version, which is an 8.0 eight is my alpha designation. Um, and the rollback version, if somebody needed it, and the current version they're using, and uh, the change log version ID and the ID of the module. And so if any new versions come out, there'll be uh, the beta will be a 9.0. And then after that, any release versions will be whatever they are. So 1.4 for version 1.4 or 1.5. And all incremental versions will be able to uh, be updated in these fold two folders here, one of these two folders here. Uh, depending on the update, one will never be touched so that people can roll back to it. And uh, it allows you to have separate folders that way for separate uh, profiles without ever conflicting with each other in the event that somebody doesn't like a new one or it's not working yet. Um, it'll always be able to roll back. Minor updates, major updates, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll show one last thing here is the uh, voice control debugging system. Create a bug report. Are you sure? Roger. Please execute the command you would like to report now. When the command is completed, say, save report, to save the report. Wingman, save fuel. Save report. Setting the report issue to, general. Would you like to pick a more specific issue from a list? Yes. So this is optional. Um, just wanted to show this menu if, if, if somebody's making a report and they would like to narrow it down. It'll help uh, find the issue faster. Maybe they know exactly what it is or maybe they don't. Um, so you can just leave it at general. Uh, perhaps keep press commands. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. If, if somebody would like to help out and add in a specific issue, it'll simply um, help refine it later in the hunt. Click on the Let's large on the text website. area to place cursor, then say ready, or done, to paste report. Ready. Error report complete. Right, now uh, it's uh, formatted out all in BB code, which makes it very easy to read later on. You can add your own uh, notes in here or review what's going to be posted. Uh, if you have a w member account, of course, it's going gonna, it's gonna to log it in under your name. If you're just uh, anonymously reporting, that's fine too. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and hit paste here, and I'll show one that I've uh, created earlier. It must be this window. Okay, so this was an error I had earlier uh, a, a few weeks ago. It wasn't saving the wingman um, as human to my save file, and the automated debugging system was able to recognize the potential save file issue and that the last request it saved didn't equal it and I was able to look through the bug file and find exactly where it was and then the command which it was having the problem with which was save file and the inline function in it. Um, it provides a little bit of uh, simple information that might be helpful in debugging like uh, the states and of mute and volumes and um, speech devices that are attached and any joysticks that may or may not be um, assigned. It's sort of um, rule out any uh, simple issues when we're looking at any old general bug report. So uh, that's uh, what's on the horizon. It should be out uh, into a public beta soon. And I really do thank everybody for the support uh, and the input and feedback over the year. Uh, I can't believe we're up over 750 downloads. And I'm really looking forward to getting this next version out there and then making more uh, voice control profiles for many games. Thank you very much for watching and uh, talk to you soon.